Here we are for the Baywatch talk. Now, let me just tell you this. Uh, I don't even I don't even know which ones I left on or or off on, put it that way. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just go through them and see which one is which. Well, I know I definitely will, um, talked about the first episode. The second one is when April came on, so we don't have to discuss the second one. We'll just go from there. Season 8, Episode 3, The Choice. Veteran lifeguard John, John J.D. Darius arrives at Baywatch and competes with Taylor Walsh, an attractive newcomer, <laughs> for Mitch's old job as lieutenant. And Mitch must make his own decision as, as to which one will be the most eligible for the former job. It's kind of stupid because um, if you know all these people ahead of time, how can you pos possibly be impartial to making a huge decision like that. But that was a 5.5 out of 10 in 95, one of the lower rated, yeah, lower rated episodes. Then the next one was, on Memorial Day weekend, Mitch, April, and Skylar find a lot of problems on their hands after discovering the dead body of an elderly Navy veteran whose two Navy buddies of his, of his want, want to give him a proper burial in the ocean. That's what happened. They tried to give him a proper burial and they... <laughs> Uh, I can't fault them for doing the right thing, but I. They, they were really. They, they were two real. They were high up there in age kind of guys. How could they drag big weights and everything around? And then. I, it's not realistic. At least not well, what I saw in this episode. But it got a 5.8 out of 10 with 98 ratings. Now, here was the Charlie episode. This is one of the few episodes when you're going to see Baywatch actually rise. Because I just saw it right now. This is one of the top-rated episodes of the entire series, it looks like. April's mother and her 12-year-old younger brother, Charlie, arrive for a visit where Mitch and Hobie try to make the best of the weekend with Charlie, who is revealed to be dying from a rare form of cancer that April refuses to accept. Uh, what essentially happened... What essentially happened in this episode was a very traumatic and sad episode, to, to tell you the very least. And um, I'm going to tell you that, you know, there, there are memorable episodes in Baywatch that nobody talks about. Like like these, the cancer episodes. There was one before this with um, the character Stephanie got cancer, L Lenoma, I think that's what it was called. And then um, there were some Special Olympic episodes. There was all episodes that were for good causes, and every time you hear someone mention Baywatch, they never mention all those episodes that they went out there to do a good thing. You know, Baywatch isn't a complete joke like everyone thinks. They actually tried to go out there and help things out. When's the last time you've seen, well, you see cancer in, in TV shows all the time. When's the last time you've seen a, 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 an episode where the Special Olympics was in a TV show? Never. They're not included in anything, which is right. But I'm just saying it doesn't happen. And um, what about the character Stephanie? I'm not Stephanie. Yeah. I was just, no, Stephanie wasn't the one that had cancer. It was, no, yeah, it was Stephanie. Caroline is coming up in the next episode I'm about to watch. So Caroline was out of a bunch of episodes. This is another thing I want to say before um, I pretty much bow out of this big watch, um, this whole thing is that they they shuffle too much with the characters. They go from one episode to the next where one person is on one and one is on the other. And people are going to say, well, there's too many characters. You can't have them all in one episode. That's true. But I don't like watching one episode when there's one character, then one when there's another, or you take a huge break where you don't see one character for like three or four episodes. I don't understand whose idea was that was it to do that. They had so many different women on the show at once in this show. It causes, it probably caused a lot of issues. At least for me. Every time I watch it, it's like, oh, one person's on, one person's on. There's people in the credits that barely ever get seen at all in the entire show. Brief appearances, and that's it. Um, like, the Michael Newman character was barely ever um, shown until, like, the last one or two seasons. Okay. <laughs> I think he's he's a great guy, great fun guy. I think he was really a Navy SEAL in real life too, or something like that. So he was a very interesting character. But um, most of them they go unexplored. Um, that's all there is to it. Kind of it kind of sucks, but that's um, 
that's how it is. So if you're looking to watch this show, there's a lot to look forward to. You know what I don't understand, quite understand is that if you go online right now to go onto YouTube, they won't give you Baywatch episodes, obviously, because it's in HD and they're trying to sell the remasters and or they want you to watch it on, on a streaming service. But they do have Baywatch Nights that's totally free on the internet. If they can show that for free, um, I think they could probably at least put some Baywatch episodes for free. They might have one as a sample, but that's about it. The show's worth buying. Now, if you're not a huge person like me, you have to have the whole. You don't have to have the whole thing. Forgive me, it's late. Um, you could just buy the entire Blu-ray set. That's the um, the regular one for the United States, the Region One or whatever it is, and you can um, watch the Blu-rays of seasons one through nine. You don't get Baywatch Hawaii, but at least you get the regular one. So that's about it. All right, well, good luck, everybody. And um, the only way to watch this show, really, is to stream it, unless you want to pay the money like I did. I'll, I'll, I'll say this, too. I'll add this to the video. The only real way to watch this TV show is to stream it, because it's too expensive for people, unless they, unless they have the nostalgic stuff like me, where I have to watch stuff from the 90s. Um, it's not worth it for other people. It's just too expensive. I understand the U.S. version is only like 50 bucks, but that's even too much for people. So you can watch it on the streaming services. You can't buy the show on DVD, but most of the DVDs were released um, in, in um, their imported versions. So you can't just go out and buy those. I, in fact, I think the United States only got three, three DVD releases. And then the, someone else had to take care of it on other countries. Well, that's it. Bye-bye.